Hello everyone and welcome to Battle of the Beast All Generation episode number 84. I had to hesitate there and that is wrong. Is that battle number 85? So even though I hesitated, I still got it wrong. Brilliant. I love that I can't count. <laughs> I can count just very difficulty. Difficultly. With difficulty. There we are. So um with that, I got two beasts ready for an, a fight trying to get into round two. Um, I'm trying to avoid saying arm and R, but I'm failing very badly at it. Okay. These beasts are my favourite of their respective season. To sum them up, I would say I do prefer one a hell of a lot more than the other. As a... I think this is an alright matchup. It's more on the boring side of matchups, hence why it's so early in round two. But um, it's a not an obvious matchup as the previous fights have been, ignoring battle number 94, the, but 84. But the fights before then were kind of predictable. But this one, not as much. So with that, let's introduce the beasts. Representing series four, the Amulet of Avantia, the Slayer of Targus, the Horseman, or Tagus, the Horseman, in round one. It is book number six, Stealth, the Ghost Panther. And representing series six, the World of Chaos, the Slayer of Skirik, the Forest Demon, in round one. Also book number six, Vespic, the Wasp Queen. So, we have Stealth versus Vespic here. Honestly, not a bad matchup, actually. We're going to go with a rocky terrain... No, we're going to go with one of my favourite arenas now. We're going to go with the Ruined City Arena. So, that is basically a city in ruins, as what the uh, name of the arena suggests. Um, I'm trying to avoid saying that, but it's really hard, especially when I'm noticing every time I say it. This uh, arena is only used on special occasions, and that will be on occasions where the beasts are boss level, or what myself and Lucas consider boss level, or a matchup which I personally consider as a special matchup, which is a matchup between two beasts which don't particularly need water, but I think can make the most of a ruined city arena. And that's exactly what Stealth and Vespa can do, I reckon. So, with that, let's get to the stats. All the known kingdoms dread Stealth. He has a panther life grace and three tails that he can use to snatch up his enemies, tossing them into his mouth like morsels of food. Even a warrior who escapes those tails will be at the mercy of his deadly teeth and giant claws. Um, abilities for stealth is spectral form, enhanced durability, enhanced speed and agility, mist, mist manipulation. He, his spectral form can create a black mist, which has no effect, I'm guessing just to disorientate his opponents. Natural weaponry, uh, his tail is going to be used to grab things and also whips and lassos, as the Beast Quest wiki says. And corruption, if he scratches anyone they become evil. But I don't think that's going to help him much because if he scratches Vespic, well, Vespic's already evil, so she, she's still going to attack him. So I think it's just for damage purposes now. Weaknesses is tail removal and corruption reversal. Now, moving on to, as Lucas refers to Vespic as my girl. Vespic the Wasp Queen. Vespic's armor plated body is twice as tall as any man's and her wings give her terrifying speed and agility. She is armed with six brutal hooks, claws, and a stinger which oozes a deadly green venom. One drop will instantly kill her prey. Worst of all, Vespic has an army of wasps at her command. They swarm around her victims, weakening them with ex excruciating stings. Um, so, was I will say quickly, was Vespic's... Um, venom that she has will kill her prey in almost instantly 
as she's fighting the beast, it will be a 10 minute timer, which will be doing the killing for a beast because a beast is more durable than, let's say, a rat. So if um, Vespic will in sting her opponent, and if it's a beast, it will take 10 minutes before they succumb to their wounds and die. Uh, powers and abilities for Vespic are Wasp Manipulation, Skilled Fighter, Flight and Deflection. The, her wings uh, flap at uh, big enough speed to deflect arrows and such. Venom Manipulation, Natural Armor, Natural Weaponry. Minions are her Wasps, and she will be using them. Weaknesses is water and wing removal. So both the beasts have a weakness to a certain part of their body being removed. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Um, I really hate saying that word now. With this matchup, I am kind of excited to do it. And I know I should probably restrict Vespic's army of wasps. So I'm going to do probably an extra f boost every round. So in round one, 100. I don't know if she actually used them. But in this round, it'll be 250. Uh, 250 wasps at her disposal. So a nice swarm for the queen. And with that, Stealth versus Vespic. Let's get into this. As the chamber doors open... Uh, the swarm of Vespix minions swarm out through the sky exit, swirl up, and when it dissipates, Vespic appears, lunging over the uh, perch, looking over her arena. Her swarm of wasps have scattered around the chamber, scattered around her chamber, waiting her command to attack. Stealth prowls out of his chamber, using the buildings as cover to not be noticed by Vespic. He's already aware of Vespic's existence, as he can hear the buzzing of all the wasps. He prowls around carefully, Vespic also making her way around the uh, stadium, using the um, perch... <laughs> It's not really a perch, but the balcony, let's say. Just looking around, trying to find stealth. The audience members are tense with seeing both the beasts just prowling around, trying to find each other, trying to not make too much sound. Vespic has already seen stealth, but stealth hasn't seen Vespic yet. Vespic then decides to just let stealth continue up to her chamber. Whilst Vespic gets down onto the arena floor and just hides behind a building, waiting for Stealth to get close enough to her chamber. As Stealth approaches her chamber, he gives a sniff in that chamber, but doesn't smell anything, so Stealth just moves away. Is then Vespic gives a click of her mandibles and scratch against the wall that the wasps know it's their time to strike. They all swarm out of the chamber and start attacking Stealth. Stealth heard the uh, clicking and the scratching, where he bounds towards Vespic and then instantly greeted with her, but Vespic's already prepared for that and kicks Stealth directly in the face, knocking him backwards as Vespic's swarm comes all over Stealth. Vespic then... Uh, Pins Stealth down, injects him with his with her venom, giving Vespic, uh, giving Stealth ten minutes to live, starting now. So according to my timer, I got ten. I got until nineteen minutes thirty three seconds before Stealth should succumb to his wounds or his venom, and Stealth then kicks Vespic off using his front paws, and Vespic then bounds. Uh, leaps back, lunging over still, and charges up towards Stealth again, using her claws to attack. 
Stealth goes into a spectral form, creating a mist that Vesvik dives right through. And looking around, trying to find where Stealth went, she can't see him. But she notices a shadow just gradually moving at the corner of her eye. And then it's not until she notices the shadow rushing that Stealth appear reappears. Vespic already seen that shadow. She ducks out of the way, lifts up his her claws, and slashes the underbelly of Stealth. That Stealth roars in pain, confused on how Vespic was able to do that. But Stealth doesn't stop with his attack. He uses his tails, wraps all of his tails around Vespic's claw, um, and Vespic tries to pull back, but Stealth is pulling even more back. Vespic clicks and commands her wasps to still keep attacking Stealth. Stealth is using his claws to just spat away at the wasps, still not losing focus on Vespic. Vespic is now using her other claws to slash at Stealth's tails. Not as they are more powerful than you think, and more durable than the tails are. So he, she's trying to slash at the tails whilst the wasps are distracting Stealth, but Stealth is not losing focus on Vespic, and he charges up towards Vespic going to bite right down on Vespic's head. Vespic then moves his her arm out of the way, causing himself to bite down on his own tails. And the tail and the force that Stealth used on his um teeth on the tails was enough to break his tails. Vespic then pulls her arm free and Vespic is able to use both her claws again. Self roars in pain from biting his own tails. And then Ves Vespic, while Stealth is in agony, digs her claws into Stealth's head, pulls his head up, and using her other claws, slashes at Stealth's under neck. Stealth reverts back to his spectral form, trying to get away, to heal up, let's say. But Vespic is still is chasing that shadow that she can see of Stealth, commanding her wasps to follow. Uh, Stealth is confused why she know why he knows where Vespic why Vespic is chasing him. He then realizes that it's his shadow that Vespic is following. So Stealth then stops right in his tracks, reverts back to his normal form, turns and slashes at Vespic, slashing the side of her face. Vespic screeches in pain, but then uh, still slashes right back at Stealth using her even sharper claws. Stealth is um, being cautious though, because he knows if he gets another slash at the underside of his neck, he's done for because this is already a bad wound. If it gets worse, he's dead. Vespic retreats away, and uh, while Stealth uh, decides to chase after Vespic, uh, and Vespic turns around and charges right back up towards Vespic, uh, towards Stealth, lifting up two of her legs and kicks Stealth right in the face. Knocking him aside again, Self is frustrated that he fell for the same trap. And right before he can think of anything else, Vespic is already on top of Stealth, digging her claws into Stealth's body, dragging them through his uh, body, causing immense pain for Stealth. Stealth is still roaring in agony, but Vespic is not showing any signs of mercy. She is shown she has shown mercy before, and it backstabbed her, but she was able to prevail. That was in Skurik. So with that, Vespic is no longer showing mercy. She pulls Stealth's head up, digs her hand right into his neck wound, and using her other hand as well, she pulls the neck wound open, causing blood to waterfall out of Stealth's neck. Stealth gives a very weak purr, I guess, um, roar in pain, before Stealth then lets out a gasp of relief I guess and as his pain has subdued and he then collapses down to the ground Vespic removes his her claws noticing they are covered in blood she shakes as much off as she can before she makes her way back to her chamber with her army of wasps at her disposal following her Vespic has won Stealth has lost you think Stealth should won please and comments below why you think that how am I worst final and Vespix moving on to round three? I gave Vespic the win because of whilst they are both agile beasts, 
Vespic does have the height advantage, and also it's a very skilled fighter compared to Stealth. She also has an army of Wasp, which she doesn't have to use to attack. She can use to distract, and that's exactly what she did. Not to mention the Venom that was in Stealth, unless Stealth can actually get a really good hit on Vespic, that, that, um, self was doomed from the start, and I think that really shows how in trouble he was. So, with that, Stealth is the loser, Vespic's the winner. And that is all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press the little notification bell down in the corner below. The timer was not needed, but yeah, it's always good to have one. But with that being said, till then, peace out.